from Brooklyn, New York, Miss Rosie Perez. Yes. Good morning, New York. Is Brooklyn in the house? Woo! It is amazingly early. But this is why, this is a good reason to get up in the morning, and it's so cool to be back here at the AIDS Walk, standing among so many people committed to the world without AIDS. I've supported this event a very, very, very long time, and, and, and a real long time, actually. So long that I got to pull out the glasses. Pull out the glasses. I'm still cute, baby, right? since I've been back and um, you know I never met any harm to anybody I just was really still am one of the soldiers in this fight and, uh, and I remember one year I caused a little stir a slight commotion if you will a minor scandal <laughs> simple question in the 90s, do the math. Where the fuck is the mayor? But that was a long time ago. I've grown. I matured. Softened even. So this morning stands a new woman. A woman of discipline. A woman more refined. A woman with a simple question. Where's the mayor? Ladies and gentlemen, if you please, where the fuck is the mayor? See, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I like the mayor, actually. I'm sure he has a good excuse, right? No, I do. I do like our mayor. I mean, there's some things I don't agree with. But, you know, I do kind of like them, and, you know, I better not too, uh, talk too much of politics because, you know, election years are so interesting, right? Especially this one, and um, I'm constantly surprised, like, when a sexist, racist pig thinks he could get my vote by sitting in front of a fucking taco bowl. <laughs> <laughs> now, but seriously, this, is, this election year is a huge reminder for all of us to go out and vote. Yeah. Every single vote counts. It's not just act activists that changed the course of the AIDS movement. It was also advocacy. It was also your vote. You voted in the people that you wanted to make sure that AIDS remained a serious issue with our government. And we gotta do that the same. We have to vote. We can't let that guy in. And it can happen, he knows where the buttons are. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, so prep. We all know what prep means, right? Yeah. For those who don't know, it uh, stands for pre-exposed prophylaxis using the medication Truvada. That's how I pronounce it, Truvada. And it has been a revolutionary advancement in preventing new HIV infections. It means that men who have sex with men have something in addition to condoms to keep them safe. The makers of Truvada, Gilead, Gilead, I thought it said G-Lid. <laughs> Gilead signed
scientists have a long history in the fight against AIDS, and this breakthrough is quickly becoming a key component in stopping the epidemic in its track. Thank you, Renee. Now, as I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> this year the subways of New York featured provocative AIDS walk posters that carried the message, hate is not a New York value. Three of the good-looking people featured on those posters are on stage with us today. Yay! <laughs> and two of them are gonna sing. So, first up is Broadway actor who co-stars on the ABC's hit I don't care how you pronounce this, but I say, Quantico. Quantico. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just watch. Okay. Seriously, please welcome Jay Armstrong Johnson. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, this is my fourth AIDS walk, and I am so honored to be on stage uh, here with you guys today. Uh, this is my buddy Rodney Bush on the piano, uh, and we're going to do a little tune uh, by Jacques Brel called If We Only Have Love. If we only have love, then tomorrow will dawn. And the days of our years will rise on that morn. If we only have love to embrace with our fears, we will kiss with our eyes, we will sleep with our tears. If we only have love, love that's falling like rain, Stand outside If we only have love Love that's falling like rain Then the parched desert earth Will go green once again If we only have love For the hymn that we shout For the song that we sing because our next guest co-stars on one of my favorite TV shows, ABC's How to Get Away with Murder, on Thursdays, and in the amazing Broadway show at the Lincoln Center Theater, The King and I, eight times a week. Are you busy enough? Oh my God. Maybe leave some roles for the rest of us, come on. Everyone, please welcome the incredibly talented Conrad Ricamora. 
What's up, y'all? Oh my god, first of all, uh, Jay, uh, it's like 10 a.m. How is he singing like that? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna have a hard time even just reading uh, what I have to say, so congrats. Uh, I love you. Uh, good morning, New York. How are you doing? Good. Uh, like you said, I play Oliver on How to Get Away with Murder. And uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Oh, thanks. Hi. Uh, Last year, Oliver tested positive for HIV, uh, and I've really been uh, honored, and it's been a privilege to to bring HIV awareness into 2015 and 16. Um, uh, rather than reduce him to some tragic victim, uh, as TV sometimes does with with characters like this, uh, his HIV status is being treated realistically and with compassion and not pity. Uh, he and his boyfriend are talking about sex and using PrEP for the first time on network television, which is a great thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I feel like we're reducing some of the stigma uh, and showing that people can live happy, healthy lives uh, with HIV today. Um, and it's just so cool to feel a, p a part of something significant like we are here today. Uh, this is my first AIDS walk, and uh, so many of you have raised so much money, so congratulations. You guys are the real stars of this for coming out and, and supporting such an awesome cause. Uh, I see some of you have your uh, official t-shirts, uh, the cap that you got for raising $250. I see some people wearing them out here. And uh, I see Nick Adams has his t-shirt on. Come over here, Nick. Do you guys know Nick? He's a Broadway star. Uh, oh, there go my notes. I got him back. Uh, he's uh, one of the people on the AIDS Walk subway posters, and he's also a longtime star walker. That could be something else. Uh, how, much, how, much, how much have you raised this year, Nick? Uh, this year I'm at 3100 which puts me at a grand total of $59,000 over the last five years as a Star Walker. So, you got the selfie stick and the Star Walker crown. Congratulations! Well, thank you, Conrad. <laughs> um, but listen, I'm an AIDS walk amateur compared to some of the people that are here today. And in particular, there's a woman sitting up here who's been walking for 25 years. Yeah, and this year, her cumulative total has passed the $500,000 mark. Let's hear it from Francine Goldstein. This, good morning, everyone. This is my 28th year of walking, and I'm walking in memory of a friend that I lost 25 years ago. I think she'd be very happy today to see what I've done. But also, I'm very fortunate to be part of a family of AIDS Walk and GMHC. And thank you, everybody, for helping me reach that goal. And I've just gone over 500,000. And I thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming Eric Bergen and two-time Tony Award winner, B.B. Newark. Good morning. Good morning. It's so inspiring to see you all here. It's wonderful. Um, now, given that we work in the State Department on Madam Secretary, uh, we've been asked to help acknowledge the elected officials who are here today. And I just have to say, Bibi, on, on, it's such a pleasure working in the government in the State Department with you. It's really, it's really been a, a really highlight of my life working in the government with Bibi Newworth. <laughs> Eric? Yeah. Eric, that's a television show. Well, you have your process, I have mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Three decades ago, the founder of this event walked into GMHC with an idea. It became the event that has motivated more people to take more action in confronting a public health emergency than any other in history. 
the events that he and his colleagues have organized throughout this country have raised more than, wait for it, $400 million. Please welcome the founder and senior organizer of AIDS Walk, Walk New York, Craig Miller. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here in support of GMHC. Uh, as it was said, I've had the privilege of being around and, in, and working in support of AIDS organizations here in New York City and throughout the country for quite some time. And over the decades, I've seen a lot of very good leaders. We've occasionally seen some really excellent leaders. But what GMHC and who GMHC has at, has at the helm these days is truly extraordinary. And just by way of one example, it's been a very noisy and distracting election season, right? So we came to our leader and we said, what are we going to do about all of this? And he said, well, we're going to be louder more clear, more compelling with our message of unity than those that are being loud and noisy with their message of divisiveness. And that's what led to that campaign on the New York subways that you saw, emphasizing that hate is not a New York value and that sexism is no joke and that condoms are the only barriers we want to see between people, right? So it's my great pleasure to introduce the most excellent leader of GMHC. Please welcome the CEO, Kelsey Louie. Good morning, New York. My name is Kelsey Louie, and I'm the proud CEO of Gay Men's Health Crisis. On behalf of the staff, board, and clients of GMHC, I want to thank all of you for being here today for the 31st annual AIDS Walk New York, the largest single day AIDS fundraising event in the world. Yeah! 35 years ago, the CDC reported an alarming occurrence of a rare cancer in otherwise healthy gay men. 35 years ago, the New York Times published the first article on this rare cancer seen in 41 gay men. And 35 years ago, 80 men gathered in Larry Kramer's apartment to address this problem and raise money for research. This meeting provided the foundation on what has become gay men's health crisis. And ever since that fateful meeting, GMHC has been a cornerstone of HIV care, prevention, and advocacy. Because of you, because of your compassion, and because of your dedication, we have come so far. We have made three simple but meaningful changes to the GMHC logo. First, we are honoring our past by using the color red, the traditional color of HIV and AIDS. Second, we are changing fight AIDS to end AIDS, because that is our goal, to end this epidemic once and for all. And third, we are changing love life to live life. Today's event is such a great success. And now to conclude our program with, uh, with a musical performance that you will not want to miss, uh, please welcome, accompanied on the piano by Andy Einhorn, a Tony Award winning Dynamo La Chance. He's standing right in our way. No, 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 no. You're right in the way. When you walk through the storm, keep your chin up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver sound of a
the Johns, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here in support of GMHC at the 31st Annual AIDS Walk New York. Be right. Hey! Hey, right. yeah. This is Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org and Out Magazine. I'm here with Rosie Perez. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. You killed it. You were so funny and wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Tell me why this is so important to you to be here. Because there's not a, a cure yet, and we got to keep keep on the fight until, uh, like they said, N, N AIDS, N AIDS. Yes, and we're a site for newly diagnosed and people living with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance of everyone getting tested and going on prep and using all the tools they can? Yes, I was appointed to the um, Obama administration presidential advisory council on HIV and AIDS, and my was part of the uh, subcommittee on prevention, and that's where it all starts. That, we wouldn't have an AIDS issue still if people protected themselves, if people got tested early. It wouldn't be as, as vast as it has been and still is. And it all starts there. It all starts preven prevention. Use a condom. Take care of yourself. Respect your partner. Get tested early. And let's, let's, let's put the brakes on this disease. And, and that's why it's important. That's good. Just one more thing to ask you. We're, again, we're trying to stop the spread of this disease and we think that even though there are prep there's other diseases you can get like hepatitis so we think that condoms is a really good thing our slogan is condoms are hot do you think condoms are hot <laughs> condoms are very hot <laughs> especially if you want to live a happy life Listen, i love you you're amazing i watch you every day thank you so much oh, for you. being here and supporting us all right thank you bye-bye this is mike cavanaugh with hivhero.org and out magazine how are you guys doing great thanks how are you it's i'm amazing and here we are with bb and eric i love your show are you guys having a blast it's a really fun group of people yeah yeah we get to film in new york city so what could be better that's awesome and i can i see you guys everywhere you know you always support all these amazing events thank you so much for that uh why is this event so important to you obviously um, geez, I mean, the, the, it's an effective event. That's the one thing. It's a necessary event, and it is effective. Over the last 31 years, they've raised over $400 million. Uh, people, it's necessary, and it's inspiring, and we have all lost colleagues, friends, and loved ones, and to be here in their memory and in the memory of other friends, it's, um, it's a very moving day. It's a beautiful day, and nature is smiling on us today for it. You know what? GMHC is such an amazing organization. So many, a plethora of services. Please go to gmhc.org. Make a huge donation. And, you know, it's so nice to see you guys. And I've, I know you said it before, but you know what our slogan is? Please, condoms are hot, right? Condoms are hot. Oh, I, I, I wear them not even during sex. They're that hot. I have one on right now. Right. Please wrap it up. Remember that you're... It's great to be on prep, but that's not save you. Our, another slogan we're doing is, it's great you're on prep, but what about me? Because we want to spread the, the message that, you know, you've got to protect yourselves, okay? Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Thank it's you. a pleasure to be here. Thanks. I am here with PM Miss Universe, and I, I don't think I'm gay anymore. I think you're so pretty. I, you've, turned me, you've turned me straight. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very excited to be here. It's my first time to uh, participate in the AIDS walk here in New York. Um, it's very inspiring and I can only wish we can have something like this in the Philippines. We, we don't have this. Yeah. Right. But as Miss Universe and being a witness here, I'm very inspired and um, this makes me even more empowered to send the message out there, especially not just in the Philippines, but wherever I go. So how do you like being Miss Universe? Are you traveling the world and meeting people and is it fun? It's fun because I get to attend, you know, events like this. This is the biggest uh, fundraising walk for right. AIDS right. in the world yeah. or the universe. Yeah, in the universe, yes. Oh my God, are you dating anyone? No. Okay, you're not allowed to, I don't think. I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> so have you met Donald Trump? No, I haven't, actually. You haven't? Then you're a lucky girl. Wow, she got out of that one. That's dodging a bullet, isn't it? Listen, I want to thank you so much. I hope you're going to support other AIDS organizations and, and travel around being an advocate because you're a lovely woman, very well-spoken. Thank you for everything that you're doing. I appreciate that very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Look who I ran into, my friend Nick Adams. How are you, Nick? Hi, good. How are you doing? 
Nick, you're awesome. I'm doing great. Uh, it was great seeing you up on stage. And again, a Star Walker. How many years now? I think this is my fifth year. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you've raised $59,000? $59,000. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That is incredible. I'm so proud of you. Amazing. Why is this event so important to you? Well, it's still a real problem, you know? And I feel like this event brings a lot of uh, exposure and attention. And, uh, you know, I feel like as a city, we need to stand together and, and find a, an end to this. I think you're right. And, you know, one of the things I, I was just talking to my cameraman, Tommy, I said, you know what? I don't think there's anyone in this Broadway community that has done more than you have. For all of the organizations, you're always never say no. I don't think you ever say no. Thanks. Yeah, I can't say no. <laughs> and you know what? I, I think that, you know, we all appreciate you so much for all that, not just your talent, but just doing what you do and fighting the fight. So really appreciate it. Thank you. And I appreciate what you do, too. Well, thanks. And again, our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Condoms are hot. They're very hot. Okay. We've got another new message, though. You know, because of PrEP now, it's such a great new tool. Yeah. Um, but we also have concerns about other STDs that can be transmitted. So I came up with a new slogan. Why don't you just see what you think? Okay. So it's, it's great you're on PrEP, but what about me? It's great you're on PrEP, but what about me? Meaning that yeah. if someone's on, you know, prep and they're saying, oh, they want to, you know, have unprotected sex. Well, that doesn't protect you at all for other things. So exactly. So anyway, I think we're going to use that. What do you I think? think? You should use it. Yeah, you should protect each other, not just yeah. yourself. Exactly. So listen, Nick, what's going on with you? Anything coming up? Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm headed to Brazil with the Broadway Dreams Foundation this Friday for 10 days to teach with them there, and then I'm heading off to Boston to sing with the Boston Gay Men's Chorus for their uh, spring pop concert. So I'm the guest soloist with them. And then I fly to San Francisco to uh, do two shows out at Feinstein's out there, my own show. Oh, that's awesome. So if you're in that area, where can we find out about that? Nick Adams? Um, yeah, you can, uh, at the Nick Adams on Twitter and Instagram, there's all the information there. You can get tickets to the show in San Francisco at ticketfly.com. And uh, check out my website, nicholasadams.com. Yeah. All right, well, please do that. And uh, Broadway Dreams Foundation sounds great. Where can we make a donation to them? Um, MyBroadwayDreams.com uh, is their website. You can find out they're an amazing nonprofit, uh, works with children across the country uh, that are aspiring theater artists. That's great. So thank you again. Have a great day. It's a beautiful sunny day. Yes. Nick Adams comes and the sun comes out. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Thank you. This is Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org, HeroNews.org, and Out Magazine. I'm here with the CEO of GMHC, Kelsey Louie. How are you? I'm feeling great. We just started our AIDS Walk New York 2016, and it already is a great event. Can you imagine? I can't imagine this event, 31 years, raised over $400 million, largest fundraising uh, event in the world for AIDS, uh, yes. helping people with AIDS. Yes. So why, how, how excited are you that all these people are here? It's every year it gets bigger and bigger. Yes. It's so exciting for so many reasons. One, 30,000 people come to Central Park to celebrate all of our advances for H in HIV and AIDS. And 30,000 people come to Central Park to show gratitude for the work that the staff of GMHC. And it's so great because they deserve so much of that gratitude. You know, I want to say that I go to GMHC almost every day. I take uh, part in their lunch program. I think that it's amazing you go and look at the board and see what's going on every single day. A full schedule of events for LGBT people, people with HIV, or just anybody, really. It's amazing how much is there. So please go to gmhc.org, check it out, find out what they're, what they're doing. Please make a huge donation because we love GMHC. Thank you so much. And congratulations on AIDS Walk 2016. Yes. Woo! Thank you, Kelsey.